St. Louis, Atlanta, now! While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Georgia Dome. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of leading the offense and ripping it to shreds. London Fletcher is one of the most potent inside linebackers that you'll see in the league today. His run pursuit is right up there among the best, and he won't be deterred either. He'll knock a blocker right out of the way, and once the ball is snapped, all he cares about is seek and destroy. Warming up across the field is another tremendous football player. Heath Brooking is among the very top inside linebackers in the game. And what a great tackler this guy is. He'll drag a big guy right down by the scruff of the neck, and that's if you're lucky. You hit him head on, and it's nighty-night. <laughs> First down and a whole lot more. Santana Moss had all the time in the world on this play, Danny. He could have made himself a sandwich while he was waiting for the ball. <laughs> Always back to the food, Peter. Can't you think of anything else? Oh, well, let me see. Get up! It will be first down. The defense. Nice pressure that time. Oh, let's watch this. Right out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Stop at the 24. Archuleta. The field. Holding. Feely with the 41 yard attempt. They take the lead. about three yards. Dumps this one to the flat, and the ball's caught at the 29. Eventually shoved out at the 46. First down. That'll bring up second down. Second down with a split backfield. Close a heater, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Short of the markers. It'll be beyond Goes in motion. Dunn picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. And heads up field. Tackled at the 33. That will bring up first down. What done? Denial there. Second down coming up. Second down at the tight end right. Wells out of bounds at the 43. That will bring up first down. Michael Vick is dangerous when he had lives, Dan. Check it out. Well, that scramble got him some yards. He was lucky on that one. Two. Up the short pass. Five. Third down Five. and four lineouts in the game. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan, and it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the... Stop, but he's first past the markers down. for a first down at the 32. First down. Michael Vick didn't trust any... Holding. Feely with the 42-yard attempt and badly misses this one to the right. Jay Feely usually can make these with some regularity, but not today. Oh, something went wrong there from the get-go. 66! Hut, hut! Fast ball over the middle and gets past.
past the markers for a first down. Mark Bolton. And searches for a hole. No one in front of him. 25, 10, touchdown and he's man. in for the touchdown. Look at this guy go to town. This is a great run. What an athlete, Peter. A fantastic display. Hey, we're always holding. nice to have Dan. So far, <laughs> he's got 70 yards and one touchdown. The extra point is it's good. It's good. At this point, we'll see what they call on this drive as they start at the long 20 line. This bombs this one a bit, and it's got just barely past the markers for a first. Santana Moss. I know! <laughs> one man to beat. Eventually, runs out at the 45. It will be first down. Michael Vick improvises on this one. It's called thinking on your feet, and he does a great job of it. Yep, nice little scramble there. He saw he had no options, so he did what he... Go! <laughs> Vick passes this one after the play action, and it's tipped. In control. They've taken some shots there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, the timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Moore takes the long snap and punts it away. Bumps it at the 21. Brought down at the 22. Jeremy Trius Butler fielded the ball, and although he... Three. <laughs> oh, left sideline, and is well past the mark. First and 10. Ball at the rim. Down! Yard line. 10! Ball gains three yards, and that brings up second down. the sack way back at the 37. Oh. No. Matt Stewart gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Off oh, yeah. again. Go! He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Moss catches the right sideline, and he's in for the score. Santana Moss is all by his lonesome on this one, Danny takes full advantage of it, too. What happened to the coverage? Let's look. Well, that's an easy catch. My six-year-old could have caught that. Eats it. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting them. They go to nickel. The 16. First down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Yeah, you see this right here? You feel this? All right. I had hurt. Right there, right there. It's going to be all right, man. You're going to be all right. Let me help him up. Come on. You got to get back to us. We're going to be all right to play. 69. Hold you. Throws a bullet to the flat, and he connects at the 18. Tackled at the 13. It looks Turner, like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury on, down on the field. Turner. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information right. along to you. Yeah, you see this right here? Right. You feel this? All right. I, I had hurt. Right there, right there. Right. Just, oh, it's going to be all right, man. You're going to be all right. Let me help you up. Come on. You got to get back to us. 
It's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. John, the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to lead. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. It's good. Jeff Wilkins. The 37. That will bring up first down. Michael Vick does a little last minute razzle dazzle here, and he gets some yards. Eventually runs out at the 43. That will bring up first down. Vick makes the long, long pass, and the reception is made at the 10, and he stopped right there. It'll be first and goal. Santana Moss has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Beautiful catch, Pete. Down with two tight ends to the right. Down! Michael Vick goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. That gives him his second. He's been making plays all game long. Now the point after, and it's good. Line. Right. Right. The and the clock continues to run. Riley had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Calder has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I just talked to the trainers, and they said that he tore his back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. Second down and four wins. Lips him down in the backfield, and the clock will continue to run. Newman gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to be... Holger really rifles this pass, and it's caught at the 46. 30. 25. Holt has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. Take those end zone catches. He's such a nice game for himself. And the he usually point meets is good. It. It's good. This isn't going to kill you. That'll bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Back down at the 43. <sighs> well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab, and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come up. So that'll bring the first half of that's football to of a close quarter. as the clubs head to the locker room all time. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Patriots very confidently win by 16. We had a big trade also of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Well, trades aren't quite as common in the NFL nowadays as they are in other sports, certainly. But we've got news to report to you on the trading front nonetheless. 
Bertrand Berry leaves the Cardinals and is on the move to the Bears. And they obviously see that as one of the areas that needs improvement. In exchange, they'll get someone to beef up their roster. Tommy Harris is a guy that ought to be able to fit right in with his new club, and he should make his presence felt over time. Terrence Newman stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Redskins pick up their first win of the year. Tim Rattay went to the end zone four times and helped his 49ers beat the Saints. On the east side of the Bay in Oakland, we had the Raiders edge their way to a narrow three-point win. Down in Qualcomm Stadium, we had the Chargers lose by a disappointing 16 points. Texans, Lions. By a disappointing... Dominic Davis would certainly like to help his team get into the end zone. And he's just set seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now looks to bounce outside. Does so. Gets a block. Touchdown. Ten yards. The Texans win this one by the final score of 37 to 31. The Jaguars exploded for 500 plus yards from their offense in their win at All Tell Stadium. The Bears won on the road and will have to travel again next week when they meet the Vikings. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Ravens pick up win number two. Panthers, Chiefs. Win number two, Trent Green. Calling signals at the nine-yard line. Crowd into it now. Rolls right. And look at this toss across his body between defenders. Picture perfect six. The Chiefs go on to win this by the final score of 45 to 42. Starvin Marvin Harrison stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Rudy Johnson ran like a wild man and definitely helped his Bengals beat the Dolphins. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Priest Holmes won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. Doctors confirming the worst this week, a torn hamstring. And that'll put him out for eight weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Isaac Bruce is probably the one that most leaps out at you. He'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. David Boston is going to be watching from the sidelines for a while as his injury will deal a major blow to this team. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. Seahawks, Buccaneers. As is in. Matt Hasselbeck calling signals at his own 40 yard line. Rolls, then fires a slant. Look at him go. He could go all the way. 60 yard score. The Seahawks win this one by the final score of 38 to 35. And last but not least, we had the Vikings come away victorious. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Santana Moss has been unstoppable. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound. Blue 19! Blue Knight! Bolt falls it in right side, and that's good for a gain of five. Mark Bolger threw the pass into double coverage here. He'll start at the seven yard line. Dunn gets his seventh carry of the game and ends up losing about three. Down. Griffin goes in motion. Moss is out to the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Michael Vick completes a night. He's got 298 yards and two touchdowns. First on the left side and gains about three yards. London Fletcher with the tackle. Right. What have you got? Okay. All right. Four. Jack Gray. Just down at the 24. First down. Third down, one man down. <laughs> <laughs> out of bounds at the nine. It'll be 
first and goal. Michael Vick has to resort to plan B on this play. That's why he gets the big box, Dan. He makes it happen no matter what. Oh, yeah, that scramble got him a nice game. You can't coach that. that that's just instant. Down! Michael Vick decided at the last moment to scramble back there, and it worked out. Back, 61. run here and when you watch the replay Dan check out his field vision great job of finding space that's the first time game <laughs> now the extra point and the extra point. it's good hey, 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 he is alone hey, hey, down. Michael Vick throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. That's his fourth deep. Listen up. Moss <laughs> brings down the long left side and has some room to run. And touchdown. touchdown. Goes to that. Over 200 yards. Can anybody stop this guy? Here's the point after, and it's good. Unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, those are some big setbacks up there, but unfortunately, this is to be expected. Players can't spend time worrying about whether they'll get injured. They just have to go out there, play hard, and hope for the best. Looker catches it as a sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. A bullet and it's complete at the 43. Brought down hard at the 49. That will bring up first down. You get rolling again. Rifles it out left side and it's complete at the 45. 20, 10. He's in for the touchdown. Corey Holt has a great move after the catch. Check it out. Man, he's fun to watch. That's his second TD reception, and obviously, the passes are coming his way. <laughs> now the point after, the extra point is good. it's good. Down! <laughs> First down. Michael Vick on nothing happening, so he decides to scramble for it. And he turns in a pretty successful play there. He's never more dangerous than when he improvises like that. Goes in motion. Dunn gets it off the toss and runs into traffic. Tackled at the 49. Pisa Tanoi Samoa was a one. First down down at the 33. It will be first down. Michael Vick does a little last minute razzle dazzle here. 
can get some yards. Seven. Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> Fisher chases him down and gets the sack at the 37. Travis Fisher called down the quarterback for... And he bounds the fastball over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Michael Vick ambles big time on this play and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been... Ready for the... This one to the left sideline, and it's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. Santana Moss was the intended receiver. to four. It'll be first and goal. Michael Vick improvises on this one. It's called thinking on your feet, and he does a great job of it. Yep, nice little scramble there. He saw he had no options, so he did situation. No. And it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up Bill second down. Do. <laughs> Dunn gets the toss and runs into traffic. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Falcon. Now the extra point, and the extra it's point good. good. Rock 22! Holger throws a pull into the flat, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Mark Bolter winged it into double coverage, but luckily this play Ow. is more proof. Our third is such a crucial ground game. <laughs> Intercepted. <laughs> Breaks a tackle. Runs out at the 22. Corey Hall does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a head... Records could fall today. Dan Walsh for the three-point tight end connection. Gunn goes off the toss and gets in for the score. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Miracle, they are going to come away with this one. Here's the extra point, and the extra it's point good. Is good. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Todd McBride kept both eyes on the short out on that one and caused the incomplete pass. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense oh, may have been attacking the pass every chance they get. Paul catches the lob over the middle, and he's short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on downs. <gasps> For this one, the Falcons come out on top, 45 to 24. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Falcons stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Michael Vick let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. A 22-yard play that set up a Falcon touchdown. 
Mark Bolger connected with his man on this one. Falcons winning by seven. Michael Vick is going to get this one out to his wide receiver, and he'll do the rest. They move ahead by 14. The Rams answer right back. Torrey Holt was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 49-yard touchdown for the Rams. Rams down 31 to 24. Michael Vick on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. A 25-yard play that set up a Falcon touchdown. The Falcons now up by 14. The Rams on D. Corey Hall was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Falcons, after getting an interception, Falcons ahead by 14. Michael Vick is...